everyone. So in my last video, I showed the stocking stuffers I have for my children for Christmas. They are ages two and four. So in this video, I'm going to be showing what we actually got them. We are a single income family. I am a stay at home mom. I have been since my son was born. And um, we try to make Christmas really good without spending a lot of money. So our budget is usually $100 per child, but I did manage to come in under that this year. Um, I shop all year. All year long, I shop clearance, I stack coupons, I use rebate apps, I buy something and then find a better deal somewhere else and then return it or price match it. Um, I work really, really hard to make sure that I feel like my children have a good Christmas on a budget we can afford. Now, most of this stuff did come from Target. The Targets in my area have a really good clearance on toys about twice a year. Once really close after Christmas, like between Christmas and New Year's. And then another one in the middle of the summer where they usually put about two aisles of toys 70% off. And luckily my children are at the age where I can buy them things that and put it up until next year and they're still going to be into it like cars baby dolls action figures that kind of thing luckily they're not into the, like the really big pricey items or have much of a wish list this was the first year my son actually asked for something particular so the way i do it is i try to make sure both my kids have the same amount of presents now as they get older and they kind of start to understand money um, I'll do a budget where I spend the same amount on each one, but one child may get five presents versus another kid getting two. But, you know, if one child has five things that are $10 each versus the other child who has two things that are $25 each, they can still kind of understand the fairness of it. So anyway, I'm going to start with Matson first. He is four, almost five. And... The first thing we got them, each child has nine individual gifts and then one big gift that they get to share. So um, this is what we picked up for him. This was my husband's idea. He said he wanted some walkie talkies and you can see like the little Target clearance price. They were originally $17 and then they were 70% off that. So they were a little under $6. And it's the Finding Nemo and the Finding Dory ones. Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. I don't know how well these all like work, the kind of range they get. But, I mean, they were five-something, so they'll be good for him to play with. Um, next, I got him this little Imagine Next character. Allosaurus. Not sure if that's how you pronounce that. He has really entered this Imaginex phase. He loves these little characters right here. He's also really into dinosaurs. He loves dinosaurs. So I thought he would really enjoy this. And I got this at Target on clearance for $5. Both my children are into Paw Patrol. So um, I got this Jumbo Action Pup Rubble. Again, another 70% off. Um, originally $18 and then it was 70% off that so and I also got my daughter one like this only hers is sky which you will see here in a minute then PJ mask is another one he's really into he loves cat boy so I picked this up and I got this at Kmart. I had a coupon for $10 off and um, this was $12. So it, after my coupon, it was like $2. And um, I'm sorry if like y'all don't want to know the prices of things. I know when I'm watching videos, I like to know the prices of things <laughs> and how people get them at that prices. So I'm sorry if that's a little annoying. Um, like I said in my last video, when I showed his stocking stuffers and I had a couple of Transformers, 
I mentioned that he was really into Transformers. So I picked up this rescue box and I did tear the price tag off. And at first I was gonna tear all the little clearance stickers off and then I thought, well, no, I better not do that till after I do the video. Um, that way I can remember the prices. But I did remember this was originally $30, but it was it rang up for like nine bucks because the clearance sticker only had 30% off. But so much stuff was 70% off. I scanned it anyway. And it rang up for $9. And so you have like the Optimus Prime here. And he transforms. And he hooks up to the trailer. And then you have the other one. I don't know who that is. But then so you, he gets two transformers plus the trailer. So I don't even know if that was in frame. But two transformers plus the trailer. So... I was really happy to find this one. I thought this was a really good deal. Picked up these. These were another Target. These were only 50% off though. Um, I watched them for a couple weeks and they never, they had like a palette of them and they were originally $40. They were on sale for 20. Let me turn it around because it's like really glaring. But you can see the characters. So you have I don't know the name. You have Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Ultron, I guess, Thor, and Hawkeye. Um, but Target had a palette of these. They were originally forty dollars. They were marked down to twenty, and I was waiting to see if they would go seventy. They never did. And every weekend I went back, they just dwindled, dwindled, dwindled. And finally, I was like, I better go ahead and grab one. So. And these are like 10 bucks a piece if you buy them individually. So he gets six here. So six for $20, I figured, was a really good deal. Everything I got was a really good deal, and I wouldn't have bought it. I don't pay full price for hardly anything. This was one of the things he was actually asking for. He wanted this Lego Batman cave. Um, he loves building things he loves blocks he loves building he wants the little legos and we've kind of tested those out but i still think he may be just a little too young for them but he loves these bigger ones and you know the lego batman movie came out and so he's all about the lego batman right now and this was originally fifty dollars but i found it at walmart on clearance for thirty and then I didn't get it, and then I regretted not getting it, so I went back to get it, and they had marked it down to 25 Um, But he actually asked Santa for this. When we went and saw Santa, and Santa asked him what he wanted, he said Lego Batmans. So I am so excited for him to get this. And he totally knows he's getting it because he just keeps mentioning that he can't wait for Christmas to get his Lego Batmans. Like, he hasn't seen it, but I guess he just kind of figured out that since he asked, you know, with the child's faith, he asked for it. He asked Santa for it, so he knows he's going to get it. And then the last thing, which I feel was the best deal, was another thing he asked for. He asked for a Maui toy. So, both of my kids love Moana, and this thing is huge. So, he said he wanted a Maui toy. He wasn't specific, just a Maui toy. Well, I was looking for a Maui toy, and I was visiting my family who lives about three hours away, and my husband and I were like, well, let's just run to Walmart just because, you know, and this is a Walmart exclusive. So, we went to Walmart, and they had this toy. It was originally $60, and I... I guess they never sold any, but it was on clearance for $7. And he is huge and heavy. I'm afraid he's a little too big. Like, he's not going to want to play with him because he's too big. But um, he pushes his necklace. So he actually sings. So... So it, so it says it actually sings the song You're Welcome in 12 different movie phrases. So that is what I got 
my son. Well, eight of the ones I got my son. Um, I did get him one more thing, but it's not something he's going to be impressed with. But I'll go ahead and show that after I show my daughter's stuff. Um, but I'm going to do that in a different video and just link the two together. So, my daughter Amity is two and a half. And she loves all things babies. So, the first thing I got her was this baby doll bed and I got this at a consignment store for $4.99 but it is really good quality like the actual bed is metal and then it has this really thick foam mattress and it came with this blanket and I did take the blanket off and wash it and then I got her the um, Paw Patrol Sky, so that was 70% off and 538 to match Matson's Rubble. I got her, um, she's into whatever her brother's in. She is his little mockingbird, so when he gets his blocks out, she loves to get into them, and he has a fit. <laughs> because he doesn't want her playing with them. Um, he's pretty good about sharing things, but for some reason when it comes to his blocks, it's like they're his. Um, so I picked her up this Sophia the First. Um, and I got these at the same time I got Matson's Batman Cave. Walmart had a lot of their... Um, I guess they're Duplo, Lego Duplo, 50% off. So this was originally $30, so it was on sale for $15, which $30, there's only 30 pieces in here. So full price, that's like a dollar a piece, and that's just really expensive to me. Like $15 even seems a little pricey to me, but I was willing, I mean, I was willing to pay $15. Um, this I am so excited about. So, Amity loves to get into my stamps and my inks, and she loves to stamp, and she loves to color. She is very crafty, I think, like her mom, um, Mama. I love to craft, and she is picking that up. So, I saw this Melissa and Doug wooden stamp set, so it comes with some, whew, comes with some colored pencils. It comes with nine wooden stamps and two stamp pads. Now... This was an amazing deal. It was originally $9.99. It was half off. It was $5. But when I took it up there, it rung up as $0.50. Cents. So, it was 95% off. $0.50 cents for this is... I mean, $0.50 cents for anything Melissa and Doug is crazy. But you have all of this. So, I don't know if that was a computer error or what. But, I mean, I wasn't going to argue with him. The guy who rung me up, I wasn't going to be like, um, that's ringing up as 50 cents and it says $5. So, I also picked up this, which I hope isn't going to be a regret. We, I've avoided Play-Doh for a long time, but they've started playing with it in Sunday school and they've been asking for it. So, I decided to give in, um... And this is something that they both will get a lot of use out of. It's a Play-Doh cl Play Clown. It's... I'm trying to see if it says how many pieces come in it. Um, I don't see any alerts of how many pieces come in it. But there are a ton. Like, there's all these different ways you can play. And again, another Target find. It was originally forty dollars, seventy percent off, eleven eighty eight. So I got that for her, and I know that they'll both be super excited about that. Um, I also picked up this. Matson wanted the Maui. Well, Amity loves Moana too, but she loves the baby Moana. Like, in the very first scene when Moana's a baby and she's, like, toddling around, that's when she, that has <coughs> the, her attention the most. Like, she is really into the baby. So, I got the baby Moana that comes with a little turtle. 
And this wasn't a great deal, but it was on sale. I got it on Walmart online when it, I don't remember. It was a certain percentage off their toys. Um, I want to say I gave her around $15 for this, which I think she's usually around $20, $25. So, it wasn't that big of a savings, but it was something I wanted to get her. So, I went ahead and got it for her. This is another thing I wanted to get her. She loves to pretend to play. So, I wanted to get her a cash register. And I was hoping to find like, one of the Disney Princess ones on sale. But I came across this one. Again, another Target find. Originally $24.99 on sale, 70% off for $7.48. So, and Fisher Price, this is supposed to be a really good brand. I looked up the reviews and um, it had really good reviews about like it was really dur durable and stuff. But I also thought it was good because it came with coins and stuff. So, to help her with her colors and counting. So, I was excited to get that for her. And we kept asking her, what do you want for Christmas? Well, she started saying that she wanted a baby brother. Well, that's not happening. So, what else do you want for Christmas? But every time we would ask, she would say she would want a baby brother. And we couldn't figure it out. And then one day, we were sitting there, and she comes up, and she has the Toys R Us big book of toys that they mail out. And she has it open to the doll section, and she points at this doll, and she goes, baby brother, baby brother. So, I was like, oh, okay. Well, I can, that baby brother, yeah. Yeah, Santa's probably going to bring you that baby brother. So, this was the doll she was pointing at, which is Baby Alive Snackin' Luke. And so, it, it comes with some more Play-Doh. And, like, you can, it's like it's food. So, like, you mash it and the Play-Doh has, like, fruit shapes. And then you, you feed him and then he messes his diaper and you got to change his diaper. So, all that good stuff. Um, and this I got as a really good deal too. This came from Target. I want to say it was like 25% off. And then I had an additional 25% off a toy coupon. So I ended up give it, getting this for like 11 bucks. So. And then is that all of hers? One, two, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So that's all of their individual ones. They have one gift together. That's for both of them. It is a castle that is like these huge mega blocks and you build it and um, it makes like a their size castle, toy castle. I'm going to insert a picture of it. Um, I got it at Ray Alana's, which is at the consignment event that is in the state I am in, one of them. And I got it during 25% off day and I also had a $5 gift certificate. So, I got it for $16, which is a really good deal because I was looking at them on Amazon. They're discontinued. Um, you can't buy them anymore unless you find someone reselling them. And on eBay and Amazon, even used, they're over like 100 bucks. So, <laughs> being able to find one for $100 just really, really excited me. So, I got them that. And that is in pieces in my husband's shop. So, in a several garbage bags and then on Christmas Eve he'll bring it in and he'll build it and he'll set it up for them and that'll be waiting for them when they come you know downstairs on Christmas morning so that's really exciting and the last thing which is just something super little that I'm not even gonna wrap I'm just gonna stick it under the tree and they can probably care less about is they each got new pillows so um I mentioned in my last video how they're both really into My Little Pony. And so, um, I went to this fabric store and they had this My Little Pony fabric on clearance. So, I bought some and I made them some new pillowcases. And then I just got them some super cheap pillows to go um, in the pillowcases. And I know that they... Christmas morning, they will care less about this, or they would, would, could not care less, or could care less, however that saying goes. Anyway, they won't care about the pillows, but I don't know, I just kind of wanted to make them something, 
something handmade for Christmas. So that is that. Um, I added it up, and I think on Matson we spent around eighty dollars on Amity. It was like seventy five, and then the big gift was sixteen. So all together. It was like $171, $172 for both kids. And I personally feel like they're going to have a good Christmas. Now, you know, some people may watch this and be like, I didn't get them anything. I'm super cheap. Um, I like to think of it as frugal. But they also have three sets of grandparents. And I happen to know what they're getting from them because in some situations I did a lot of the shopping where the grandparents just gave me the money and said you know go buy them what you think they would like and um so they are getting a lot like not just from us but from everybody a lot like i've i've already told grandparents i'm like this all can't come home with me because i don't have room for it but anyway i'm rambling thank you guys so much for watching liking and subscribing bye